Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take a look at a few different styles of toasters. The nice thing about toasters is they are a great source of scrappable material. They are very easy to take apart. And because every household owns a toaster, you're going to find them a lot on garbage day. I purposely picked these two toasters to also help answer a question from another viewer asking me how to tell the difference between stainless steel and regular tin or shred. One of these toasters is stainless steel and you definitely want to make sure that you separate them being that stainless steel is going for about 77 cents a pound opposed to tin or shred that is going for about 10 to 13 cents a pound. So what I'm going to do today is not only talk about the different metals, I am also going to scrap this one, show you what's inside of it, and more importantly, how to divert as much of this away from the landfill and maximize your profit. So here we go. The first thing I do want to point out is this toaster is actually my toaster. It works perfectly fine, so I am not going to scrap this one. But the first thing I do want to start with is the outer casing. Both of these do look like stainless steel. But this one, if I take a magnet and put it on there, you can see that the magnet does stick. So because the magnet sticks to this, even though it looks like stainless steel, it is not covered with enough coating to classify it as stainless steel at a scrapyard. So this outer casing is just going to go into my tin or shred pile for 10 to 13 cents a pound. And again, that is still a great price. Tin and shred is going to be the most common item you find on scrap day. Uh, very easy to build up weight and the price is excellent right now. So it's not a, at all a loss. This one, however, if I remove the outer casing and I put a magnet to it, you can see that the magnet does not stick. And that's because this has a nice coating, I believe, of nickel on it. And this is going to be classified as stainless steel. I do have to remove the plastic out of the air. I'm just going to hit it with a hammer. And as I said, this is going for right now about 77 cents a pound. Very easy to actually crush this down, uh, be able to bring it in with my stainless steel. Stainless steel you find on a lot of different items, sometimes utensils, sometimes pots and pans or barbecues, but you do want to be careful. Some items do say on them stainless steel, but again, the magnet test, if there is any type of magnetic force that is uh, coming off of it, if you touch it with it, it is not good enough to be classified as stainless steel. There is not enough of a thick coating on it, so unfortunately it will be tin shred. So you do want to be careful of that. Please do not just read the label and assume that it's stainless steel. If you have it in a mixed load, they are going to penalize you a lot on that. They may even give you just a dirty weight, which is actually going to be close to tin shred. Um, if it is somewhat separated, they will hopefully be able to separate a little bit. But again, scrap yards do not have the time to separate it for you. So you do have to be careful of that. So again, some really nice stainless steel here. And this is actually about a pound and a half, so that is great. Um, I am gonna remove this one that does work, as I said, and I don't wanna damage it. The rest of this toaster, as I said, if I put a magnet to it, very easy to scrap. This now shell or inside is going to go into tin shred. And you do have different styles of toasters. This one has two slices, you'll get four. Um, and the nice thing is, is I actually don't even have to remove this plastic on here. The rest of this is just gonna go into my tin shred. But a few items that I do wanna talk about, the cord, I do see a lot of people just cut these cords and drive off. And again, I don't understand why, because the rest of this, this is about two pounds. It could just go right into your tin shred pile. At a scrap yard, this cord is going to be classified as 60% appliance wire. There are two different categories for appliance wire. You have 60% copper recovery and 40%. The reason this is 60% is if I take this up to the camera, you can see two 
strands of copper in there with one coating of plastic. Scrapyards look at copper recovery and plastic to copper ratio. Because there is only one thing of plastic, there is higher content of copper. And this currently at your 60% copper recovery is actually going for $2.13 a pound in London, Ontario. There's not a pound here yet. It's probably about uh, half a pound. Um, and what I do is I just store it up in a bag. Definitely going to make sure I separate them. There are some nice coated brass prongs on here. Some people leave these on for the weight. I do actually take them off. I have a nice bucket of prongs and I will bring that in with brass. Currently brass is going for about $3.50 a pound. Um, so again, I'm looking long term. I'm going to have a nice pile of that. But I haven't really seen a difference when it comes to small prongs like that. So it's entirely up to you. If I was to give you a quick example of a 40% appliance wire, those are your vacuum cleaner cords, your microwave cords, your uh, dehumidifier cords. It's got a thick outer coating of plastic. Inside there's usually two or three strands of coated copper. So there would be your 40% because it is more plastic, less copper. And even those are still going for a dollar 23 a pound. So still a great price, but again, you definitely want to make sure you know your wire and separate them properly in order to maximize your profit. So 60% copper recovery here. The other nice thing in here, and unfortunately I will say I did do this video yesterday or tried to, I got three quarters of the way done and um, the camera shut off for some reason, but there is a nice transformer in here, a small one. And this is what it looks like. Um, transformers do have their own price at a scrapyard. You usually get about 10 to 15 cents a pound. And I don't take apart all of them. This one, because once I peeled off the top, it revealed a lot of nice number two copper. This was easy to take apart. I definitely want to take that copper out. Um, and this is going to be number two copper, which is currently going for $4.48 a pound. Your copper right now is your scrapper's gold, if you will. There are some prongs. This is gonna go into my tin uh, shred pile. And all I do with this copper strand that came out of this transformer is I will throw it into a nice giant bag here. This is all my number two copper, just from your motors and transformers. There is 46 pounds here. So every little bit helps. A great price, like I said and a very easy thing to take apart. If I was to look at the transformer and I did not see a lot of copper wire, it was a lot of plastic paper inside or wrapped, I would not take the time to take it apart. I would just throw it into my um, transformers and get transformer weight. But as I said, this one, because it has some really nice copper wire, it's gonna be number two. Some people may say because it looks very shiny that it should be bare bright. Bare Bright only pertains to the thickness of wire that has to be thicker than 16 gauge. So this is not 16 gauge. 16 gauge is about the thickness of the lead of a pencil. So all number two wire here. But still, at $4.48 a pound, I'm not going to complain. The last thing I want to look at in here is every toaster is also going to have a small little circuit board that has a little bit of copper on it, but it also has, and something that I love to get, some silver. As you can see, that dot right there, that dot right there, and on the two different prongs there, that dot and that dot, those are silver, they're silver contacts. So what I actually do is I will cut those off, I will put them into a small little vial, and hopefully one day I will hit them with some nitric acid and hopefully make a silver bouillon. Um, so definitely a lot of silver. And I do actually have a video on places to find free silver. It is unbelievable how many appliances and electronics have silver. So if you're interested in that precious metal, go check out that video. Um, but also on here, once I cut it, these prongs are also going to be copper. Um, so I am going to throw this into my number one copper. Number one copper is a little bit higher than number two. It's going for $4.68 a pound, so 20 cents more. Uh, again, it all adds up. And there is a little bit of wire still in here. I will take this wire. Again, I will put these little wires and these little strands into my 
Um, 40% copper recovery. And the reason I'm saying, no, sorry, they are copper inside. Um, so these are gonna be my 60% copper recovery as well. You do wanna quickly check some, especially uh, electronics, sometimes the wiring will be aluminum inside, but I'm looking at that, that is copper strand. And again, the rule is one coating of, of uh, plastic inside, higher value. So here is your 60% copper recovery. So that's basically it with a toaster. Very easy to do. The rest of this, like I said, I can leave the little bit of plastic on here, which is awesome. Um, I've got some nice tin shred there. I have some copper. I have some silver. I have some more copper here. And again, I have some stainless steel, a lot better price than my tin or shred. I'm definitely gonna make sure that I separate this, but your conclusive test is the magnet test. No magnetic force, so good stainless steel. So hopefully that answered the question. Please keep them coming. Toasters are a great scrap of item. Uh, hopefully, you know, you found it entertaining and enjoyable. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.